First of all, I'd like to thank everyone from St. Catherine of Siena Parish, all the parishioners, and all, all everyone who's known me throughout these years and prayed for me and made sacrifices for me. Thank you so much for helping me get to this far to the priesthood. Um, I ask now that you help me to persevere until the end in this great work of God. God bless you all. Thank you to the choir as well for providing the beautiful music and the altar servers for helping, uh, for helping make the, the worship of God greater and more beautiful. A couple of announcements too. After the Mass, there's going to be a potluck at the parish hall. But before that, I'm going to give some uh, first blessings. Now, first blessings are a thing that a, a, new, a newly ordained priest gives. So I'm going to give these first blessings to everyone who desires it. The thing is, it's going to take a really long time. So I'm going to do it after Mass. I'm going to do it for 30 minutes here, for about half an hour. I'm going to give first blessings. And then I'm going to go to the parish hall, and we're going to eat and talk. And then I'll give more blessings over there after you know we've eaten and socialized a little bit. Thirdly, let's see. Okay, thirdly, there's attached to this Mass, there's a plenary indulgence, a special indulgence attached to this Mass. This is one of my first Masses. So I received permission from the Vatican to have a plenary indulgence attached to this Mass. And as you know, a plenary indulgence is the remission of all the death or punishment that's due to sin already forgiven. So to attain this indulgence, what do you have to do? Well, you have to be a Mass here which you already have done, so that's good. And then receive communion sometime within several days. Go to confession sometime within several days. And also pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. And finally, you have to have detachment from all sin, mortal and venial sin. So if you want more details on that, you can ask me afterwards. But so there's a plenary indulgence attached to this Mass. Perfect. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. So, because today is the first Saturday of Our Lady of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I think it's fitting to speak about Mary and the priesthood, her relation to the priest. Mary, as we know, is the mother of priests. She's the mother of all Christians, for sure, all baptized Christians. But she's the mother of priests in a very special way. Why is, why is she mother of priests in a special way? Because the priest is like Christ. The priest is like our Lord Jesus Christ. He has a special mark on his soul that configures him to the priesthood of Christ, that makes him like Christ. So when the priest offers sacrifice, when he offers the Mass, when he hears confessions, he does those things in the person of Christ. Christ is acting through him. It's an amazing thing for sure. So Mary's mission, what is Mary's mission? Her mission is Christ, if you want to put it simply. All she wants to do is form Christ in the souls of everyone. You know, she, she looks for Christ in everyone, and she tries to form Christ in everyone. She sees Christ in everything. So this is, applies especially to priests. See, she sees Christ in a special way in us priests because of the mark we have on our soul. So she puts a lot of effort, you know, a lot of prayer, a lot of energy into praying for us, helping, helping us become holy and more like Christ. She, and she does a good job, job at it too because Mary, the Blessed Virgin, she raised a priest. Christ is a priest. He was a priest from birth and he's still a priest now, even in heaven. She raised him through all those years, you know, in Nazareth. She raised a priest, so she knows how to raise priests. What did she raise him to do, though? She raised Christ to offer sacrifice. She raised him to offer the sacrifice of the cross, the sacrifice of his life. So it definitely wasn't an easy thing what she was doing, you know, having to raise a son to eventually die on a cross, you know. But she raised him well, you know, she let him, she helped him go to his cross. And to each priest, she helps raise 
in this manner also. She helps the priest offer sacrifice, you know, offer the mass well. And then she helps the priest offer the sacrifice of himself in union with the mass. This is important. He offers the mass, but he also, he also offers himself in union with the mass. And he does that by all of his sufferings he undergoes, you know, his tiredness, his energy that he expends on souls, the sufferings he undergoes. She helps him to unite these with the Holy Mass and become more like Christ, more Christ-like. There's an image, you know, that great image that we see in painting sometimes of Mary standing at the foot of the cross. You know, you see our Lord hanging there, you see St. John, you see St. Mary Magdalene standing there, and you see Our Lady there. She's standing. You know, she's... The Gospel says she stood at the foot of the cross. She didn't sit. She stood. I mean, she persevered at the foot of the cross. She stood beside our Lord in His suffering. And this is what she does also with priests. Because priests are definitely called to undergo great suffering throughout their lives in one time or another. What Mary does is she helps them persevere. She stands beside them every day. So when we pray for priests, as we should in our daily prayers, our daily rosaries, let us remember the mother of priests, Mary. Pray for her, pray to her especially for all the priests in the world, that she may conform them more and more to the image of Christ. Hoy, ¿por qué celebramos una misa de Nuestra Señora? Es apropiado que yo hable del sacerdocio y Santa María. La Virgen María es la madre de los sacerdotes. La madre de los sacerdotes. Ella es la madre en una man manera especial. ¿Por qué? Sabemos que ella es la madre de todos los cristianos, por supuesto, pero ella tiene un efecto especial por los sacerdotes. Por los sacerdotes, los sacerdotes son como su hijo, son como su, su Cristo. En las almas de, de los sacerdotes existe una marca, una marca especial que los hace como Cristo, como Cristo en ofrecer sacrificio, en perdonar el pecado en la confesión. Por eso, cuando el sacerdote hace estas cosas, él, la, él las hace en la persona de Cristo. El sacerdote es como Cristo. Además, la misión de María es Cristo. Ella quiere formar todas las almas ser como Cristo. Ella hace bien y en formar a nosotros sacerdotes ser como Cristo. Porque ella misma formó un sacerdote. Cristo. Cristo nació como un sacerdote y aquí en el cielo era sacerdote también y María lo formó para ofrecer el gran sacrificio de la cruz. Nosotros también era forma para que ofrezcamos el sacrificio de Cristo en la Santa Misa y nos, nos ofrezcamos con este sacrificio. Nuestra oferta se llevará a cabo en el trabajo duro, los sufrimientos, los cansancios que experimentamos por las almas. Todas estas cosas están sacrificadas por las misas que nosotros, sacerdotes, celebramos diariamente. Y como Santa María estaba de pie, 
un es jūs alā krūs. Ejā vā es stāvi un mēs esmu doties durantē as jūs krūsēt. Durantē los krūsēs de, de, de la vīra. Par es esmu rekondēmos, esmu doties a Marijā. Māra dēļ es esmu doties a nevestrās orāciones diārijā. Dios nos pindīgā visdēļas. Um, sorry, um, primer me, uh, en espanyol. Ok, doi gràcies a todos porque ustedes han de apoyar durante estos siete años. Gràcies por su ayuda y sus oraciones. Ahora pido que ustedes sigan rezando que yo pueda perseverar en el, en el trabajo de Dios hasta muerte. Segundamente, después de la misa, yo voy a dar las primeras bendiciones a todos que las quieren. Yo voy a dar las bendiciones por una media hora aquí, entonces vamos a comer ahí, entonces yo voy a seguir uh, dando las bendiciones. También una indulgencia plenaria está adjunta a esta misa hoy. Para obtener esta indulgencia, una persona necesita recibir la Sagrada Comunión, confesarse y rezar por las intenciones del Papa, todo dentro de varios días. También una persona necesita estar libre de todo apego a todo pecado. Dios los bendiga a ustedes y que la Madre Santísima los cuide. En nombre de Padre y de Espíritu